again or hello for the first time if this is the first video of mine you're seeing. Um, so this video is about my hair care and products I've been using on my hair. Um, so before I did this video I didn't actually think I used that much um, and then I was like is there a point in me making this video? So I had a bit of a look and I got together everything that I used and realised I actually do use quite a lot. Or I've started to anyway. Um, so yeah. Me and my hair we have always had a bit of a love-hate relationship, um, I really want to love it and it just hates me, really, <laughs> that's our relationship. Um, we're getting there, I think I've settled into a bit of a routine that does help me look after it in ways that I kind of want it to look, um, that didn't make any sense. You know, I think you know what I mean, it's, it's starting to feel a bit like how I want it to feel, it's starting to look a bit how I want it to look. And it's just, we're getting on a bit, it's, um, we're getting along a bit, yes, we're, we've actually started to actually like each other, it's started to like me a bit, and I am starting to fall back in love with my hair, which is always good. Um, so just to tell you a little bit about my hair, before I tell you about the products I use, um, uh, up until about two years ago, I was always told that my hair was actually really healthy and really good condition, um, and then <laughs> two years ago I had a accidental dyeing my hair black. Um, incident um, and I went to the hairdressers to get it sorted and they stripped all the colour, put a treatment on it, put new colour on there because I was bright orange um, and then put another treatment on there and since then the ends especially have been really really dry. I've had it cut and the ends taken off and it just gets very dry um, especially towards the end. It's getting better um, but yeah it's it, since then it's been a bit it's not exactly loved me and I think that's probably where our little love-hate relationship came from, if I'm honest. So yeah, um, so all in all it is getting into a bit of a better condition now which is good. Um, I don't wash my hair every day, I wash it about twice a week just because it's quite long and it never used to be this long. I think if you see my post from when I first started blogging in March it was like up here. My hair grow does grow ridiculously quickly. Um, so yeah, so this is just some products I've been using and I've just the routine I've kind of settled into. So we'll start with shampoos and stuff, so what I actually use in the shower. So once a week, usually at the beginning of a week, um, I use a clarifying shampoo, which just kind of gets rid of all the build up, built up product, um, dirt, just any kind of crap that's left in your hair. Um, and the one I have been using is the infamous Bumble and Bumble BB Shampoo which you can see there um, really lovely packaging, I love the Bumble and Bumble packaging I just think it's so surfy and chic and I just really like it um, it's tab pricey, this is usually about £12, I got it for about £10 um, and what I'll do is, again, sort of like with any videos that I do any products I mention, if I've reviewed them on the blog, if you're watching this on YouTube I'll pop the links to the reviews below in the box and um, if you're watching it on the blog just click on the the name of the product below and it will take you to my review and on my review I actually have a link to the place I got it from for about £10 so it saves you a couple of quid um, but yeah but it's well worth getting I think um, I haven't tried another clarifying shampoo but I've read reviews on others and stuff and nothing really comes close to this apparently um, and I have to say my hair has never felt so clean first time I used it I think I was in the shower an extra five minutes just because I was amazed at how squeaky my hair was after it got washed out um, but no really love this I use this once a week um, don't use it anymore because it will just strip your hair because if you think about it clarifying shampoo is not really brilliant for your hair because it does strip it I think somewhere it's meant to say it has alcohol not that I can find it I've been told it has alcohol which obviously isn't good for your hair so that's obviously why you only use it once a week because it is stripping your hair. So yeah, I've, so like I said, I use that once a week and that just kind of gives it a bit of a lift, stops it looking so dull. I will be using it tonight after this video because my hair needs a wash. Um, but yeah, no, really loving this, would definitely recommend. I do want to try some more Bumble and Bumble products, it's just the price that puts me off. So yeah, definitely one. And then the other shampoo I use during the week. It's one I've actually just started using um, for the past couple of weeks actually. Um, you might have seen it on my favourites, it was the, I had the Aussie Minis that I took to Dublin with me um, of Miracle Moist and like I said my hair does get quite dry. 
so I've always kind of had to use moisturising shampoos. For a while, for a couple of years actually, I've been using Herbal Essences Hello Hydration, but I just kind of found it wasn't really doing much anymore. I wasn't really noticing a difference, it just didn't really, I don't know, it didn't really do much. And when I tried um, this one, I should probably actually show you the product, uh, just the Aussie Miracle My Shampoo, I found that using that one I actually really did notice a difference with my hair, it just felt clean, it gave it a bit of life, it actually was less frizzy, it just, I really really liked it, not only that but I love the smell. I don't know why, because I'm not a nut person, this is apparently macadamia nut oil, just got shampoo everywhere, oops, um, but I actually really really like the smell, I'm just kind of in the shower like, hmm, smell. No, I really like that. I'm actually preferring this to the Herbal Essences at the moment. It's a little bit, it's about a pound more expensive than Herbal Essences. I think it's about four ninety nine. You can get it in the mega version, which is about five ninety nine, which I would have gotten if they'd had the conditioner in stock. But they didn't, so I just got the normal size for each one. So, coming on to conditioner. It's the Miracle Moist conditioner as well. Um, I used that with both the BB Sunday shampoo and the Aussie shampoo. Um, I would say when I use it after the clarifying shampoo, I use it mainly through the root, not roots, through the tips, more than anything else, just because it kind of defies the whole point of a, the clarifying shampoo, but I do still want to feel that moisture in my hair, because like I said, it can get dry, and a clarifying shampoo is going to make it drier. So yeah, little Aussie products, again, this is about 4 dollars I would have got the mega version, but they didn't have it in stock. Um, but I would, really would recommend the Aussie products. Um, I've never really raved about them before. I've tried a couple and I've never really been in love with it. I've liked it, but now I am actually really falling a bit in love with it. So I think it's the smell. I think the smell wins me over. No, definitely. Okay, so then I come out of the shower. And what I do when I come out of the shower is I use another Aussie product. It was free for doing boots. You can't judge me too much. Um, so I thought I would treat myself to another Aussie one, and this is the Dual Personality Anti-Frizz and Conditioning Milk, which you can see there. Um, and I've just really enjoyed using this. You just put a little bit on your hand, run it through your wet hair. You can use it on dry hair as well, but I've been doing it when it's wet. Well, I say wet, I've kind of left it in the towel for about half an hour and then taken it out and then put it through. And I find it does actually work. It just gives my hair a little bit more moisture in there, so it just feels a bit softer and my frizz just feels a lot more controlled as well, it's a lot smoother, a lot sleeker and even after I curl it or do something like this to it, make it wavy, it's still fine so I'm really liking that, I would definitely recommend that and again, it smells really nice loving the Aussie smells, really am so yeah, just loving the Aussie products actually, apparently so yeah, and the next um, thing I pop through it is a heat protector because I do blow dry my hair otherwise it just takes hours upon hours to naturally dry um, and the one I use, just for no other reason than the fact that it came with my GHDs is the GHD Heat Protect Spray I don't know if you can see it there so yeah, so like I said, I only just kind of use it because it came with so I've been trying to use it up really um, I do it's fine when I use it off if I blow dry and straighten and stuff, my hair does feel a lot nicer than if I don't use it. So I would definitely recommend a heat protect spray and I know a lot of people have kind of swear by heat protect sprays because especially if you're straightening your hair every day or curling it every day, it is going to kill your hair. I don't straighten it every day and I don't curl it every day, I literally blow dry it. Sometimes I straighten it, not a lot of the time I have to say because it blow dries quite straight anyway. And sometimes I curl it like I have done now, but I do use a heat protector when I do it. And I would definitely say use a heat protector, especially if you do have coloured hair, because it just it will just damage your hair so much if you don't. So yeah, definitely use one. And then it's all lovely and dried, and I usually just blow dry, dry it straight. Um, and then basically just things I use every now and then. The first one is the Body Shop Coconut Beautifying Oil. Do you want to be able to see there? Maybe? If it decides, you can kind of see it. <laughs> Sorry about the lighting, it's getting quite dark. It's getting darker in the evenings, which is rather annoying. 
So yes, um, but yeah, I've been using this. Um, it's a dry oil for body, face and hair from the body shop. It's their new beautifying oil range, and I know I'm slightly biased by being a beauty shop consultant now, but I really do like this. I haven't been using it on my body or my face because I do get oily skin, but I've been using it on the ends of my hair, and I have just found it just gives it that extra little bit of moisture, especially if it's curly. Um, and I have found that if I put it on while it's straight, it actually gives a bit more texture in the ends, which is quite nice. So I really do like that. That one is £9. Um, the GHD Heat Protect Spray, I'm really sorry, I don't know how much it is because it came with my GHDs, which were a present. Um, but yeah, but this is £9. It does come in all the different smells and stuff, so I would definitely recommend trying it. Um, and just a couple of other things I kind of use, well I don't kind of use, I do use. The first one is a salt spray, and it's the Charles Worthington Front Row Rough and Tussle Salt Spray. Um, I did do a review on this quite a while ago now, but like I said, I'll pop it below. I'm still on the mini one, which just shows how long it lasts for a mini, because um, I've had this for months, and I literally just spray it in. It doesn't matter if it's curly, it doesn't matter if it's straight, I do use this, and I do use it most days. Um, and I just kind of spray it in sort of the lengths, and then just kind of rush it like this and it just kind of creates a bit more texture which is really nice and it just kind of puffs it out a bit because I'm not a soft and smooth hair girl I do like a bit more texture I do like it a bit of rough and off sort as it says I think this was about 2 99 for the small one the larger ones I think are about 5 99 I'm not sure I'll double check but yeah definitely love that would definitely recommend that like I said I do there is a bumble and bumble salt spray which is the bumble and bumble surf spray I really want to try but for £18. £2.99, £18. Yeah. Um, and the next one which everyone's going to know is the Baptiste Dry Shampoo which I literally use in my hair every single day when I haven't dried it. Not dried it. Washed it. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. So tonight I'll wash my hair. Tomorrow morning I will just spray some of this in just to give it a bit more extra puff. Um, I've actually found this isn't just good for when your hair's feeling oily and it just needs to look less greasy. I found it's really good just to give it a bit of extra volume. So you know those little powder thingies you get that you can like, put in your hair and rub it in and it just makes it kind of bigger? I found this actually works better for me. Um, so I literally just kind of, I don't do it on the top, I pop it just kind of like these bits here. I just kind of give it a spray and then I rub like this, just kind of rub it and brush it and you can see it kind of gives instant volume Getting on that side it just kind of brush it up like that and it's great um, this one is the fruity and cheeky cherry um, no particular reason why I got cherry I just kind of like the smell I have heard that the XXL one actually is quite it kind of it doesn't give you as much lift and it's quite heavy on your hair that's what I've heard I've not tried it but um, it might be worth looking into if you're looking to use the XXL one but I mean I've used the cherry one and the blush one both of them are fine they both do exactly the same thing it's just different smells so yeah so that's my hair stuff that's pretty much everything I use on my hair um, my hair dryer that I use it's nothing special it actually used to be our dogs um, before she was put down last Christmas <laughs> so yeah I've got her old hair dryer because mine broke um, the straighteners I use are just DHD ones, like I said I don't use them a lot. And my colours I use to help create this is the Enracha Encore Totem Styler, which I know everyone has been raving about lately. Um, and I really, really do love them. It's the first, I've been trying to get my hair to look like this for years, for years. And um, I found it and, well I didn't find it, I, was, I saw Lily's and I saw um, Laura from Belle's Boutique and I just thought, I need to get that. So I found it for about £36 on Amazon as opposed to £70 and I ordered it and I loved it so yeah I would definitely recommend it. So that's my hair products video, again really sorry about the lighting, I will try and lighten it up in the editor. Um, but yeah, if you have any requests for videos just let me know, please subscribe, I would love some more subscriptions. I will like if you like it, um, so yeah fantastic, thank you and I hope to see you again soon, bye!